Expedia to stop selling holidays that include captive dolphin shows. Travel firm amends animal welfare policy to no longer offer activities involving captive cetaceans. Here's a summary of the article. The travel company Expedia has stopped selling holidays that include performances by captive dolphins and whales. Co. 8 mid MKZ GMT. Expedia Group November 5, 2021 It further clarifies on the Expedia website that seaside sanctuaries that provide captive animals with a permanent seaside living environment are allowed if they are accredited and do not feature interactions or performances. Catherine Wise, from the wildlife charity World Animal Protection, said, This is amazing news and something that we have been campaigning for since 2019. We are so pleased that they have listened. Travel companies play a huge role in driving captive dolphin entertainment and as one of the largest travel companies in the world we are delighted that Expedia Group are making a stand. The last captive dolphin attraction in the UK closed in 2003 but people can still travel abroad for the activities. There are more than 3,000 dolphins held in captive conditions at tourist entertainment venues around the world. The company has also stated it does not allow intentional physical contact with wild and exotic animals, which include but are not limited to dolphins, whales, cetaceans, elephants, big cats, bears, reptiles and primates, and also does not sell activities involving exotic pet cafes, restaurants and traveling zoos. Intrepid Travel set off a domino effect among other companies when it ceased all elephant ride activities in 2014. The Travel Association APTA updated its animal welfare guidelines in January 2020 to class activities with captive elephants and tourist contact or feeding of great apes, bears, crocodiles or alligators, ockers, sloths and wildcats is unacceptable. This post received a score of 15,000, with an up-vote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. They should also ban holiday trips that include riding elephants, which is really, really bad. Till. Jesus. Thanks for the insight. I would have never thought about how the animal was raised. Ironically, I was a meat cutter that works for a national chain. Animal welfare is very important to me, but I have never though about the way the posted link provides. This is very insightful when you think about the context. So long and thanks for all the fish. But how about the actual version of that song in the movie of The Guide with Martin Freeman? Now that was a banger. A fire? At sea parks? It's cruel and depressing for these extremely social, active animals, but it even affects things on a much larger scale. Taiji dolphin slaughter is an example of this. They scare tons of dolphins and pilot whales to shore with large metal poles. It drives them insane through echolocation. They are scared and panicked to shore. Then marine trainers from several different countries pick the dolphins they want for shows and the rest are then slaughtered in masses and sold. I know the documentary, The Cove, has some controversies, but it does an amazing job of bringing this to light. That's great, but where the fuck is my refund for that overbooked hotel you sold me? Oh wait, you're never going to. They've given it to the dolphins. I wonder if this means they'll stop offering bookings to hotels in Mexico that have captive dolphins on site. I've seen how the dolphins live at the Grand Bahia in Riviera Maya and found myself trying to formulate a plan to get them out of that tiny pool and back into the ocean. I know there are other hotels along the entire strip from Cancun down to Tulum who have dolphin enclosures. It'd be a real shame if their businesses suffered from having major booking agencies pull their hotels off their availability lists. Awesome. This is long overdue. Used to work for Expedia, this is something that was being pushed for internally since at least 2015. Ridiculous that it took this long LMAO. Are dolphins treated badly or something at these places? I'm asking because this is honestly the first time I've heard of anything about captive cetaceans. Even if people try to treat them well, wild dolphins and whales are used to swimming miles and miles a day and captive ones just live in small featureless tanks. A lot of them swim or act weirdly in ways that have been interpreted as stress or depression. That could be said for a ton of zoo animals it seems odd to draw the line just at dolphins. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.